Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In our Linux tutorial series, we would be talking about file permissions management in today's session. So this is what we are going to cover. File ownership, file permissions, what is chmod command, modes of permissions, and then practicals at the end. So file ownership, so every file on a Linux system whether it is created by anyone or it's a system based file or any configuration file has three types of permissions on it is, is, uh, is, is assigned basically three types of permissions. So one, per, one set of permissions is for the user. The second set is the group and the third is others. The user is the owner of the file. So by default, whoever creates a file becomes the owner of the file group contains a set of users so all users belonging to a particular group will have access to the file as per the set permissions only the permissions which are assigned to that group would be applicable to those users as well others so any any other person who is not on uh, not not an owner or part of the group as is treated as the others so in short form it is mentioned as ugo user group and others so what are file permissions so every file or directory on linux has three types of permissions read write and execute so read is is i mean the name itself are very intuitive uh, so you would you would uh, know that read on means it's read only so it would give access to open and read the file and read permission on a directory gives access to list the contents uh, of, of of the of the directory and it is denoted by a character r on on the file or a directory write gives access to modify the contents of the file and uh, write, write permission on a directory give access to add edit delete uh, or rename the files and it is donated by the character w on the file or directory execute so just like uh, we we have dot exe executable on windows you could also have executable files on linux but we have to assign uh, the executable permissions so it gives an ability to execute the file as a program and it is denoted by character s x now coming to the right side of of the diagram here your picture so you could see there are three set of permission and then we have a file type at the at the start so hyphen means it's a file uh, if it is d it means it's directory and we also have other file types for example for links symbolic links we have l and then there are other uh, files like a device file or a socket file uh, you would see uh, some number some some character there uh, for this session we'll just stick to hyphen and directory file type uh, rwx the first set of rwx is for user the second set of rwx the permission are for group and the third one is for others chmod command now chmod is the command which is used for managing the permissions on a file or a directory uh, the syntax is pretty simple so you just need to use chmod uh, assign permissions and the file name or a directory name so we would we would see more of this in our practicals as well now what are the modes of permissions there are two modes of permissions one is absolute mode and second is symbolic mode absolute mode is also known as numeric mode uh, and it allows us to change permissions for all the three uh, three owners that is user group and the other so permissions are represented in a three digit number that is one two and four one is for execute two is for write and four is for read so for example uh, if i assign number three for a file uh, I would see execute and write permission. So combination of two and one, add addition of two and one. Now if I give six, it would say read and write. Now if I say seven, so it, it it's like all permissions, read, write and execute. 
so linux is is you know smart enough to uh, identify the numbers and assign assign those permissions accordingly now if you if you uh, specify incorrect number uh, you know it has validation in place and you would see errors printed on the screen uh, zero means no permission so you would see blank no no character for uh, for a file or a directory if you specify zero now what is a symbolic symbolic mode so symbolic mode can modify permissions for a specific owner so i could pick for whom i want to specify uh, for whom i want to change permissions for okay so uh, it is it is represented as a mathematical symbols which can be specified with users uh, user denotion that is ugo what what we what we saw it's for user group others or if i specify all uh, it would be applicable to everyone so user group and others uh, plus sign uh, if i if i use uh, you now any any permissions rwx with the plus sign it would add the permissions uh, minus sign it would remove the permissions and equal to it will override the earlier set permission and set the new one okay so there are these are some of the example of a ch mode command itself uh, we'll will probably execute you know as is during our practical and see how how that looks so ch mode o equal to rwx and the file name means it would set permission rwx for others on on that file ch mode g, g plus w it means group plus the right i mean the 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 first character right the first uh, left hand side uh what whatever you would be mentioning ugo it would denote user group or others and after the mathematical symbols it would be the permissions as as simple as that to remember the syntax so uh and ch mode u hyphen uh, u minus x it means remove the executable permissions for a user okay and then you can also specify multiple uh, user group okay let's let's do some practicals uh, so i have i have two set of users here uh, for for our practical purpose uh so one is the root user and the third one is is the normal user uh you know just to see uh, the permissions that that we would be uh, how how the permissions are actually implemented and what kind of error you would see uh first let's quickly cover the permissions that that we saw right you see that by default the files are created with this permissions so the first character here is the type so hyphen means it's file and you can see d denoted for a directory rw is this uh, rw means read and write uh, permission for uh, for the owner and then read for uh, the group and read for the others okay so since since now i'm i'm root here okay i created this file and you could see the user and group uh as has also been assigned as root root by the way we covered the user and group management in our, in our previous uh session so you could you could find that video on our youtube channel as well uh and this uh, this user is a normal user uh okay who is not part of uh, any who is of course not the owner is not part of the group so it is like his the his he belongs to the others category here okay uh so we'll 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 see uh we'll, we'll try to modify a file as uh, so we we have a file here from a previous practical say num file right you see the uh, the, the permissions are rw and rr so other don't have permissions and at the end of the a screen or at the end of the file uh, at the bottom you would see this num file it's read only so it it recognizes that the other this is the other 
this is the user belonging to the other category who do not have a permission to you know write or execute so it's just read only now even if i say try to edit this file it would still give me a warning so changing a read only file say this is edit in read only and let's see how if i'm able to do that okay no it's uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to do that so what i'll do i'll just quit the file now as a root i am the owner of the file okay so let's see i uh, I, I assign so let's let's quickly go back to our practicals here uh, okay so what was what was the right permission to okay uh, so so the current permission here is rw okay six four four okay so the current permissions is rw the addition of my read and write numbers and this is four Okay. Now, if I want to use uh, the absolute method, what I would, what I will do is, I would say six, uh, four. I say I'll, I'll keep uh, the, uh, the, the group permission as same, and then uh, I'll use six for the others. It means it will provide read and write access on the file, and say this now let's let's try editing the file again okay now you see uh, you will not see any 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 uh, any uh, warning at the bottom and uh, i am able to edit it this is edited after changing permissions okay so i'll just save it and then i'm able to save the changes as well okay so this is how uh permissions on on the file is file is uh, been used now if you see the directory right I, i'm i'm in this directory okay so there is a directory linux cmds and the permission for this directory is rwx rx rx 7 uh, i think 55 five, five, yeah right so read and execute so 755 five. And you would see we, uh, we we don't have write access uh, on 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 this on this directory. So since I don't have write access, let me try creating a blank file. Okay, what happens? You would see an error. Cannot touch blank file. Permission denied. Okay. Now if I say ch mode. Uh, seven four seven and say linux cmd okay let's see what okay i kind of change the permission for uh, the group as well and assigned uh, all the permissions on the others now i can let's see what happens now see i'm able to create a blank file uh, create a new file basically this this is the new file right so this is how uh, you know the uh, permissions on the directory and file works so this this was about uh, the absolute mode let's quickly cover about the symbolic mode now just like we assigned uh, the permission uh, for our say num file so you would see the num file has yeah you, you you can see the owner and group right so the training one user created uh, the file uh, the blank file and he by default uh, is is the owner and the group of of that file okay so coming back to our uh, symbolic mode of permissions for example i want to say uh, roll back the right permission so what i'll do ch mode o o is other remove the right permission and the num file okay so you would see the file permissions have been removed now let's try editing that file again 
you would see a read only error here and then I'll not be able to trying trying to edit okay it will not allow right and then in similar manner say I want to uh, you know uh, assign uh, permissions uh, to everyone okay so so I'll just use all equal to rwx in the file name oops my bad there is some syntax error So you could see, uh, oops, I lost my network. So I'll just log in as training one for this one and then i'll go in this directory okay so yeah coming coming back to what what we were doing is we were we are trying to assign the permission using the uh, symbolic mode so let's let's try assigning the executable permission so ch mode say u plus x and the num file right so if you see you would see the executable permission uh, by the way you, you you must have noticed the color change right so there are uh, there are also uh, you know the color is tied up with a particular file in in linux for example the green file is most of the times uh, the the default settings we have on linux they uh, it, it means it's an executable file it has executable permission on it and then we have a blue color uh, reserved for directories of course there are there are configurations you can you can change it uh, you know whatever color you want <coughs> okay yeah I think uh, that's that's all on the permissions front so do do let us know your comments on on the video uh, and what all topics you would like to uh, cover us uh, in, in, in our in our series okay uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye.